Hello and welcome back to another episode of What's Jamie Up To? It is Sunday the 10th of October. This parcel was delivered to me on Thursday the 7th of October. And as you can probably tell by the title, it is the new Viz Annual 2022. So let's get into it. Um, Amazon delivery, uh, pre-ordered it. I think it was 9.99, reduced from 12.99. Uh, the Amazon driver left it half hanging out the letterbox. So, cheers for that. <laughs> Luckily, it wasn't raining. Um, right. Yet more cardboard to be recycled. Here we go. The Copper's Torch. 2022. I was a bit disappointed with the title of this one. Um... As with a lot of them of late, the, the title has just been a bit lacklustre, whereas years ago they used to be called, you know, a lot ruder stuff. But they were sort of tongue-in-cheek, whereas these are okay, but not as good as they used to be. Um, so the Viz Annuals, in case you didn't know, they're pretty much a best of or greatest hits of the year's issues that are published Oh, where's Jimmy? Oh, that'd be good. Um, yeah, so basically it's like a greatest hits of all the comic strips and the stuff inside. And there's probably some new stuff in here as well. So all the usual characters, Eight Ace, um, all the, uh, the letterbox stuff and all the spoof newspaper articles, which are, are very good, actually. Um, yes. Really good reads these are. I really like these, um, these sort of comic strips. There was one about a black bag. I was absolutely howling about it and a dog and the real thick Scottish accent. The way they, they write it is just really good. Roger Melly, Profanosaurus. Yeah, so I'll have a good read of this a bit later. Um, at the end of this video, I shall show you my full Mrs. Brady old lady. Yeah, usual suspects. What's on the back of this one? I shall show you my full Viz annual collection. Um, carry on pop fiction in, brilliant. <laughs> yeah, great. But yeah, not for sale for children. As you might expect, the language and the content is pretty much adult based. So I don't let my kids read them. Um, they have asked how old they need to be, and I said 18. I don't think I was 18 when I read my first Viz Annual, to be fair. Um, so yeah, a casebook full of dazzling flashes of brilliance from issues 282 to 291. So that's the issues that this covers. So yeah, there is a little overview of the latest Viz Annual. And now on to the rest of my collection. Okay, everybody, so here is my complete Viz annual collection all the way up until 2022. So we did the unboxing of the latest annual, the Copper's Torch, which was just released. So it's very good. It is very good. Um, I do love Viz annuals. This is the full collection from, oh, I forget what year the first one is. Let's, let's have a quick look. They just about fit on the shelf. Um, so this is, let's have a look at the year. I forget, 1980 something or other. 1981. So let's run through them all. So we have the original hardback version. This originally sold out and they had to do it in a paperback version. Um, I forget how many issues there are of this. If you see the unboxing in one of my Viz Annual playlists, um, I do say in there how many there were. I've, I've forgotten off the top of my head. So this was the very first one, very hard to come by. This was the most expensive. I think this was about 30 something pounds I paid for this last year. Um, and because it sold out and the hardback, the hardback and the paperback, um, they did... A second issue in of it this is like a second pressing 
of it in hardback, uh, which is the same as this. Okay, let's just put those two down. Then the next one to come out was the hard, the big hard number two, which introduces some of the more popular characters. Um, yeah. Two pounds, I don't think I paid that for it. Um, they are quite cheap to buy second hand off eBay. Um, I think the most expensive one at this time of filming, apart from the new one, which was 9 99 the most expensive one was the Clown's Pie. I don't know whether they didn't print many copies of this. Uh, I think this one was about six pounds. Um, <laughs> been I naughty boy. Yeah, very tongue in cheek, which is great. I love the humor of it. So let's go through all of them. So I have a few of the, of the Viz books here, um, but we'll run through the annuals first. Uh, I'll turn that round. No, leave that the other way. I don't know. That really annoys me, my OCD, why it's printed the wrong way round of the original Viz annual. So we have the big hard one, original print. The second printing, minus the paperback of the big hard one. The big hard number two. The big pink stiff one. The dog's bollocks. The spunky parts. The sausage sandwich. The fish supper. The porky chopper. The pan handle. The big bell end, the turtle's head, the full toss. They're just great titles. On the bone, the rusty sheriff's badge, the thick repeater. Love that. The clown's pie, the bag of slugs, the bear trapper's hat. This is when the, you can see that the annuals start getting a lot bigger. The hangman's noose, the butcher's dustbin, the one string banjo, the pearl necklace, the last turkey in the shop, which is brilliant as is the council gritter great title the five knuckle shuffle the cleveland steamer the bill posters bucket the camel's toe and all these as you can see are pretty similar in print there so the dutch oven the otter's pocket the bookie's pencil the jester's shoes the pie man's wig the trumpeter's lips the wizard's sleeve and all the way up to the copper's torch 2022 Viz annuals, absolutely fantastic, right up my street with humour, which is why I like to display them here. This is also very good. Um, 25 years silver jubilee of Viz. It runs through the uh, the characters. Um, it, it's just a brilliant book. This was mega cheap, second hand from eBay. This was about three pounds, two, three pounds. Uh, this is also a worthwhile read, um, which is The Rude Kids by Chris Donald, who was the founding editor, as it says on the front there. Uh, him and I think his brother as well. Um, I'll put that there for a second. Uh, the Holiday Special. I've got a really good condition version of this because I remember buying this. Um, or my mum or my dad bought this for me when we were on holiday, believe it or not. Um, Anus Horribilis, uh, I picked this one up in a bundle with a few Viz annuals uh, off Facebook Marketplace. Um, there is a page for every day of the year of their spoof newspaper stories. So it, it's a good read and it says it's something to, a year of stuff to read on the Thunderbox. So you can keep that by your toilet. Another one I picked up in a bundle was the Bumper Booker Shite, which is brilliant. Okay, so that is my finished Viz annual collection. I hope you enjoyed this series. Onwards and upwards to the next one. And the next time you find yourself on YouTube, why don't you just have a look and see what's Jamie up to?